Gentlemen, let's broaden our minds. Lawrence? Okay, so let's move on to TV shows? some TV, yeah, some television. Uh, the hot rumor okay. for Supergirl is that Superman is to appear in Supergirl Season 2, which is now part of the CW family. Right, okay. Um, I never, I didn't watch the first season, did you? Mm-hmm. I didn't watch it, but since CW grabbed it and the Flash crossed over, I'm interested. Uh, I'll give it the three-episode rule. Right, okay. So, you know, if, if, I, if I'm into it, I'm into it. I just hope that... Uh, from what I've seen, it looks like it, it stays with its tone. It, it knows what it is. Okay. You know? I so. mean, from what I've heard, it seems like it kind of goes, not like all over the place, like tone-wise, but like they go a lot of different places with the story and like characters that they introduce. Because I think right. it has like Martian Manhunter and like Red Tornado or he something. He wasn't it. Yeah, yeah. Martian Manhunter. I saw some pics. Yeah. yeah. Martian so, Manhunter deserves way better, I think. Yeah. But... I mean, not saying the show is crap, but, you know, he deserves... His own movie, I think. Well, let's start off slow. Let's, you know, like, he deserves to be... A part of, A like, part of it, and then, you know, a part of the Justice League, and then, from there on... Well, let's just hope the Justice League is good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but... Uh, <laughs> but uh, okay, so no. let's talk casting uh, for Superman. Uh... You were talking to me earlier. You said Matt Bomber, yeah, Bomber, Bomber, Matt Bomber. Bomber. I, I always I, mispronounce it. Yeah, because like, because you were saying that you didn't think he would work because he's a movie actor. But a lot of, I mean, I don't. I'm sure a lot of people watched the show at the time. I, I only got into it recently, but he did start off on TV. White on, collar right? on White Collar. Right. Okay, that's on the USA Network, right? Yeah. Okay. And that was like a really. It, it just slipped my mind because I've seen him in movies, but. I'm sorry, carry on. Yeah, no, but, like, it was a really good show, and, like, he's, you know, he's the lead on that show. He has, he seems like he's having a lot of fun with his role. Like, you know, I I think... And he actually did campaign for the role of Superman in Man of Steel, and I think he almost got it but lost out to Henry Cavill in the end. And he definitely has, like, the look, you know, they practically look like they could be twins. Yeah, that would really confuse, I think, a general audience if he was in it. Yeah, because they would think be that like, he was oh like, oh my god, um, it's uh, the super, it's Superman from Henry the movies. Cavill. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think that Matt Bomer is a good choice because he's definitely got like the body and the build for Superman. You know, he's got the strong jaw. He, I I feel like, you know, it's not like he's gonna be like a mainstay of the show. He'll probably be in like a couple episodes. So yeah. why not give the guy a shot? Let him wear the red and blue. Yeah, um, I was talking about uh, people discussing that uh, Tom Welling should come back. Uh, now, I wonder if they're saying that as a nostalgia factor. Like, just, you know, bring him back just for For, for the shits sake. and giggles. Right, yeah, just right. for the sake of, he was already Superman, yeah, like, so like, like, oh, yeah, we need to see him in the suit. Uh I think that would be... A little confusing? Confusing. You know, I, I, I'm i sorry I keep using the word confusing. I'm not trying to call people dumb. I just... It just, just doesn't it, fit. It, it exactly. Wouldn't... Like, it kind of gives off the, the sign that... A continuation. Right. Yeah. It, it would make people feel like this is following in continuity with Smallville, which right. it's not. Right. And besides... Although it, they it were both it CW, right? Smallville was... Well, uh... Smallville was... On, it, it was WB before... Right. Yeah, it was the Warner Brothers Network or whatever... Uh, yeah. Double, I mean, double, tech... Double, 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 WB. Oh, man, with the frog <laughs> and shit? Yeah. Oh, man, I forgot about that. But, yeah. like, like, Dad, like technically, everything. it could follow in... Not continuity, because, you know, like, what was it? Uh, Green Arrow and Flash were both on... Well, uh, there, yeah, there, there's... Vil- I believe there's villains that are used in the CW universe, mm-hmm. if I'm... If I'm correct, I don't know. I I'm not gonna lie. I watched maybe one season of Smallville. I watched like one episode, like when it first aired. I watched it and I just it didn't. Get I me. Uh, I dug it for a little bit and um, it. I kind of had the same situation. Uh, I mean, I, I shouldn't really compare it to this, but I had the same situation I do with Gotham. Mm. Like. You know, Bruce Wayne is a little boy. Right. And the, all the villains are just like, eh, hey, we're all villains. 
villains. I'm just like, it's great. Like, I don't like. Cool. I want to see Batman. Exactly. You know, like, but just put him in the suit. Exa- exactly. Well, it took him like ten seasons to do that. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, and in the last episode, you just see the big S, and it just ends or something mm-hmm. like that. But yeah, I mean, I heard do- like a lot of cool characters are in it. Like Doctor Fate was in it, and I can't remember who else. But because I, I once again I didn't watch it. But all uh, I'm saying is like. I get where people are coming from and saying that maybe they should have Tom Welling back. Yeah. But that would be like a nostalgia thing. Yeah. I, I think you should probably give it to someone else. I say that too. I definitely like, say that. Like I like I said, Matt Bomer I think is a great choice, but I'd be interested to see if they even just cast like, you know, somebody up and coming, you know? Yeah, like that a, could be like fun. like a strain you know, a new stranger. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh Otherwise, yeah, I'm definitely going going to a uh, yeah. I'm definitely going <laughs> to check me. out Supergirl. Yeah, I'm going to check out Supergirl this, uh, this you know summer. whenever it hits Netflix or whatever. Yeah, I'll definitely binge it. You know if it's good, and uh, you know hopefully it's another good show. I can use another good show under my belt for the fall. Okay, so next up is you want uh, me to take this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, next up is uh, Powers it's... Xavier. Let you know keep us updated. What's going on with Powers? All right, so. Um, I, like I said, I, I said last week that I would check out this season of, of Powers and try and get caught up to where it was at. And I did. And boy, am I mad because (laughs) for fuck's sake, I feel like I wasted a good three hours. And honestly, I completely, I forgot until yesterday. So I just like, I just like binged, you know, the, the first three episodes and I remember I couldn't. I was saying last week I couldn't put into words why I didn't. I didn't like this uh, this season or the show as a whole. And now I finally. I finally know why. Nobody is fucking likable. Not one character has any redeeming qualities whatsoever. And that is so fucking hard to watch. It is. It's a huge ensemble cast of really good actors portraying. Really shitty people. Who made it, Eli Roth? You'd think, right? <laughs> and what makes me even more upset is that the comics were written by Brian Michael Bendis, and I love all of his work pretty much, and he has a fucking hand in this show, and he's letting them turn it to shit. I haven't even read the comics, and I'm so fucking mad for and at this guy. Like, okay, so basically this season is picking up right where last season left off with the death of Retro Girl. Spoilers, which, by the way, we have to start saying that. Yeah, I just wanted to apologize to anybody who was pissed off last week about the spoilers. Yeah, we're, uh, we so promise we'll, to get better with that. Yeah, we'll From just, now on, yeah. we'll be saying it more often. Yeah, yeah we'll announce uh, spoilers, uh, you know. Before we talk about anything, because you know we don't want to. We, we yeah, don't. We, it, we, we it's don't, not right. Yeah, we we Sorry. should have been saying it all along, and yeah. I apologize as well for for not saying it. Yeah. So from now on, spoilers because this whole show, our show, is gonna be really spoiler heavy. So you know, if anything, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, click the annotations or in the description. I'll put in. The time codes for where you can skip to. Yeah. So I mean, nobody watches Powers but Xavier. Yeah, I really <laughs> think I'm the only fucking person that watches this show, and I'm hating every fucking minute of it. <sighs> so this season picks up right where the last season left off with the death of Retro Girl, and even saying that out loud makes me feel like a fucking fool for <laughs> watching this shit. And now it's a murder mystery, and the, the girl who I told you didn't have powers last season finally got them. And basically every superhero on this show all have the same powers. They fly and have super strength. That's it. That's everybody's power. Well, what about the villain? Um, we don't know who... Well, the, the, the antagonist from the first season. Though, the, oh, uh, right. Oh, first or second season. I don't know. Yeah, the one Johnny that... Royale from, from last season, he could teleport. So, like I said, all the superheroes have the same fucking powers. The villains, the villains are the only ones who have, like, interesting or, like, different powers. Because, like, um, 
wolf. He got stronger the more people he consumed. Uh, Johnny Royale, like I said, had teleporting powers. There's there's this one uh, heroine, uh, Zora, and she has like light manipulation, but it only manifests in the form of purple cubes. Lame. Yeah. <laughs> She and somehow she uses that to propel herself and fly. Of course, because what else would a superhero oh, do other the, than fucking fly? It's like pixels, right? Yeah, it looks it looks exactly <laughs> like that. That's exactly what it looks like. Mm. But like, there's so you should call her Pixel Bitch. Like, that'd be a great. I'm name. sorry if that's no. Not like PC. she hasn't she hasn't even come up with like a superhero name. Like I think her name is just Zora. I'm sorry if that's not PC, and I'm sorry if there's a female listener that loves powers, if you're out there. We apologize apologize to the imaginary audience. I'm completely kidding. But, there's, I don't know, dude, like, there's just so much happening and nothing at all at the same time. Like, there's, there's these sleazy, like, fucking PR guys that are trying to, like, they're trying to capitalize on all these new heroes which aren't new heroes at all because you know uh the girl who didn't have powers last season she was like a big problem for a while and now she's taken on the mantle of retro girl because she was like a huge fangirl or whatever now there's zora from last season again who was disgraced when she took on wolf and got her ass kicked and you know what was really hilariously dumb the first, like, few episodes of this season, like, people were just watching shitty YouTube videos that I could have made in, like, five minutes of... They basically took the fight scene from last season of Zora versus Wolf and added shitty cartoon music and stupid effects and fucking bonk, bank, bonk. And that was... Everybody's like, oh my god, this is like the viral video. This shit is so funny. So, like, it's cool to see superheroes in a time, like, you know, in our modern day. Because this is pretty much what it would be like. Superheroes would be celebrities to us. Which is what I like about the show. There is a lot there. There's a good concept, you know. But the execution is just all wrong. They're shoehorning in, like, they're, um, uh... Christian Walker, the main character, the guy Chateau Copley plays, he's, you know, he's a cop and he's very gruff and he's dealing with the fact that, like, he used to be on top of the fucking world and he's, like, an alcoholic, he's, like, he he doesn't know how to carry himself anymore outside of being a superhero. That sounds really fucking good, wouldn't you say? It, it seems like a good fucking concept, but for some reason, I just can't bring myself to give a shit. Like, halfway through the third episode that I watched yesterday, I was screaming at my television. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. Like, I was screaming at my TV because nothing happened. There's so much shit and so many good actors and somehow whoever the fuck is directing this show is letting these performances slide. And that to me is the biggest fucking problem and mistake because he's allowing whoever the hell is writing this shit. I don't know why you don't have Bendis, you know, consulting. I don't like he's executive producer. So I don't really know exactly how much, like, how much skin he really has in the game. But for fuck's sake, if you if you can sit there and watch your work being, you know, completely torn to shreds to make way for basically an hour, an hour every week of just Sony product placement, because if you didn't know... This show is a PS4 exclusive. It's and on the PSN network, right? Yeah. So everybody on the show has a Sony phone. They all have fucking Sony Vio laptops. Sony computers. They'd probably drive a fucking Sony car if they could. <laughs> <laughs> I 
it's infuriating watching this show because a big issue that I took with uh, the end of episode three of season two is one of the characters that I did actually kind of enjoy from season one was Dina Pilgrim, uh, the main character's partner. Strong, independent black woman who don't need no man. And this season, they basically turned her into a fucking joke because Christian's off, you know, investigating because he's off the... the they do the, the typical, you're off the case, you're too close to this one. So he's not allowed to work on this fucking... on this case, so he goes outside the law to investigate the death of his, you know, his former lover, Retro Girl, and they team her up with the douchiest, most misogynistic asshole cop and i swear as they're going up to like investigate they're knocking on the door and they're waiting for you know the perp to come to the door so they can question him and the guy turns to her and i and i shit you not he says chicken or fish and i was just as confused as you're looking at me right now and she's she was confused what the what the fuck are you talking about he's like what, what do you think it tastes like are you honestly asking me what i think pussy tastes like He's like, yeah, you know, I figured I'd ask from a fellow rug muncher. Okay. That is verbatim dialogue from this show. Are you starting to see why I'm annoyed with this shit? Yeah, I wonder why you keep watching it. Because for fuck's sake, I want to like it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to like it because the, the premise is there. It's there. So you know what? I think I'm done with Powers. I really do. And I'm going to start reading the comic. Okay. I said it last week and I fucking mean it this week because <laughs> I cannot go back to this show. By the way, Pilgrim and the douchebag cop end up fucking. Somehow. I don't know. There's no chemistry there. Like, he just, he saves her one time and then belittles her the whole time afterwards. And then they're just in the cop car and she's just like, we should fuck. <laughs> and they do. Jesus. Like, there's... I like the concept of it being in the modern day and, you know, integrating superheroes with modern technology and the way that we as a society, a lot of the younger generation, really, you know, interacts with each other all through social media. I like that. But for fuck's sake, I'll write it myself. Because this shit is unbearable. And I'm fucking done with it. I really am. I might watch one more episode. <laughs> What's next? Alright, so next is something I'm very excited to talk about. I don't know what your reaction is to it. Because you didn't, you didn't, you thought the first episode was okay. Was, oh, okay, uh, I know where we're Preacher going. episode two. Alright, better. I am so happy you said better. <laughs> Better. I love, I'm going to be honest, I freaking love this show. I love Cassidy. I love Jesse Custer. Like, oh, uh, and Tulip is so freaking adorable. And it's, oh, uh, man, when the, all right, so you start off first. I want to hear what you have to say about it first. Like, what do you think? How come this, how come this episode would, episode was uh, better? All right. So. We are slowly but surely chugging along to the Jesse Custer that we know from the comics. Mm. I told you. Very slowly. I told you. It's going to take time. I, I understand that, but for fuck's sake, I just, I just need, I need, I need Jesse fucking Custer from the comics. Next episode, please. Not saying that this episode was bad, because I gave last week's, what, a, a six? Mm-hmm. I'd give this one a 7. What did I give it again? I gave it like a 10. <laughs> I give this one an 11. I would give this one a, just a solid 7. Like if a I A 7. Mhm. Mm You're high, man. <laughs> I'd give it a 7. You got to go dude. higher. Give it like a Okay, give if you give it like a 7.5. Normally I do <laughs> give it like a a range of like, you know, the solid to a 0.5, either mm -hmm. negative or positive. So if I had to, I would, you know, I would say 7, 7.5. But okay. I really want to stick with, like, the solid 7 this week. 
I actually had a good day of television these past two days. I watched uh, Game of Thrones, I watched Preacher, and I watched all of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I watched the Preacher uh, episode two. I watched it twice. Hmm. Again, once. I watched. It. I could watch it three times if I, I wanted to. Okay. I'm, I'm in love with this, man. I would say I could watch this episode again. But I'm still not sold on the pilot. How about the the well, yeah, the pilot's the pilot. But how about the church scene? Uh oh, with the with the baptisms. Yeah, no, 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 with the uh, chainsaw. Oh, spoilers that one. by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we gave the spoiler. We did, yeah, so, we did. Just um, in case, I don't know. Yeah, um, that was pretty fucking awesome. I definitely and en- I enjoyed the hell out of that. How about when Cassidy was licking up the blood and then he There's... fell back? <laughs> And then, like, he saw the bullet hole. Yeah, and healed. it was just, was like, cool. healing up. That was really cool. Again, best part of this of this show is Cass and Tulip. I have so much fun watching those characters, and honestly, I wouldn't even give a shit if they cut Jesse out of the show altogether. I wouldn't give a shit. I love Cassidy and Tulip on this show. They are so much fun, and if you read the, the comic books, like, if you continue to read them... Tulip is a, f- a far departure from the comics in the sense that, like, where we're at right now in the show, it takes her a while to get to that point. So it's like we kind of did a 180 on Jesse and Tulip. Because, again, the issue with, with Jesse, to me, is that, like, he's so reluctant and, like, meek still. And it's so weird to see Tulip being so, like, so brash and just like out there and just fucking takes what she wants you know it took her a long time to get to that point in the comics and i feel like it's just so odd to see this Mm -hmm. complete turnaround for these two characters because i feel like they swapped personalities okay so again though dominic cooper fucking awesome acting amazing i love this guy in pretty much anything he does he gives such a good fucking performance and i love the scene with the two with him and Cass in the church you know talking about religion and i definitely like that they have they definitely have the the tone with these two you know like the the camaraderie that they have because they have such differing ideals and opinions Mm -hmm. so you know for jesse to be like a man of god and for Cassidy to essentially be a fucking abomination, and for them to be best fucking be- the like they're they're as close as like you and me, like mm-hmm. they give each other shit. They have like fucking weird ass differing opinions, but at the end of the day, it's like nah, you're still my fucking bro. Yeah, like they have so much fun with each other. I like when he that's... pulled the drink out of his hand. Yeah, yeah, that was good. What was in it again? It was. Uh... It rubbing alcohol, rubbing alcohol, something from the air conditioning. <laughs> and, yeah, <laughs> and he was just like, ah, fuck it, give me. Look. Yeah, and he's right here. He's like, I like the big Lebowski. He passed right <laughs> exactly. out. Exactly, that was great. Yeah, you know, if, it um, had that had that dark humor. Right. Yeah, and the comic definitely has that. So it's got, it's got a lot of, it's got the right tone. It's got a lot of the right connections between characters. I just still don't see jesse custer yet he's there in spirit and in name but not in body yet how about what he he's did to coming the, uh, how about... i can see it in his fu- in dominic cooper's performances uh-huh. he's coming how about what he did to the uh the child molester okay so that was a really that was a good and powerful scene i definitely like that and I like that he's finally, you know, he's finally starting to come to terms with his powers. So that'll be fun to see as we go along. And I don't know if you, this is just something that popped into my head. I don't know if you noticed, but they've changed a few of like the costumes and the makeup in this episode as opposed to the pilot. Like, ass face kind of looks a bit more like ass face. Like, they they did they did better, like, with the prosthetics, I guess. It did look a little... He, he looked it looked a little, a little bit more grotesque. Yeah. Which I like. 
because in the comics, that motherfucker's hard to look at. And I don't think they're going to, you know, change it anymore and make it, like, really grotesque or anything. But, like, I, I like... I do like the show. I really do. But still the same issue for me this okay. week. Okay. I, I think it's good. Although I, it's getting better. I think you're going to like it better. I think as it goes on, it's going to get better and better and better. I, I, I'm I super excited. Like, if, like, I just like the tone. It's a dark comedy. Right. It's a supernatural dark comedy. No, but I um, I dig it. I, I love the, uh, the church scene was great. The whole baptism scene was great. The whole tulip at the whorehouse uh, scene was great. Dude, they went just all out on that. Like, you know, boobies and whatnot in the, in the background. There was. Where, I don't... You know what? Not, not to sound uh, uh, like a good boy or anything like that, but I was, I was really focused on what everybody was saying. Like, I'm just... What I'm yeah. saying is, like, I like that, you know... They're really stretching. What is it? TVMA? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 They're, they're yeah, especially really, with the chainsaw scene. Yeah. Yeah. They're really stretching it for all it's fucking worth, and I love that. Yeah. So it's very violent. Oh, absolutely. It's very, yeah, it, very. It would violent. have to be. It's like uh, the scene where I forgot the dude's name. He broke his arm last week. Uh, he. Why did he do that? By the way, I didn't uh, understand. That was the wife beater. Yeah. Why did he do that to the dude? I don't. What, like, break his arm? No, no, no. Uh, the, remember he broke the dude's nose or whatever in the car? Oh, the... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? The, the yeah, the movers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did he... I don't know. Because he just grabbed his head this and he went, so... Dude, dude, like, <laughs> stop! <laughs> like, why did... Maybe because he didn't help him when he was opening up the... It, it's a whole weird thing. Like, the, I'm starting to notice, like, some of... Because... Like I, like I said last, uh, was it? Yeah, it was last week. Like I said last week, you know, there's a few different groups that like that they come across throughout like the whole run of the comics, and I'm still not finished with it. Yeah. But like Jackie Earl Haley's in it too. Yeah, and I'm really interested yeah. to see where his character goes. But like, is he in the movers? I, is that part of the? I don't. I don't know. Like I said, it's. It seems like they're kind of mashing up a few different groups at okay. this point. But there are a lot of characters that just do really weird shit with little to no explanation. Like, does he have, like, maybe he has, like, a fetish for, like, violence or something. Or maybe he just... I, he's, I, it was weird. It was yeah, a weird scene. I'm like, that's what, what I'm did saying. he do? And that's what it's like reading the comics, and that's why I kind of have a hard time with it. Not that I don't enjoy it, because I absolutely do, but, like... There's little to no explanation on a lot of really weird shit, and they just treat it like it's everyday normal stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't want to spoil anything for you or the people listening. Right. But, like, there's this one character that, like, he's just straight up, like, he's really, like, gruff and, and you know, like, very macho, but... He just straight up gets railed. You know who just we straight up gets railed. Really? <laughs> yeah. You know who we who we forgot to mention? The uh, killer of saints. Hmm. Okay. The intro. Yeah. Wait. What do you mean? The saint killer, or killer of saints. Remember the intro with uh, oh, in eighteen eighty one. Right, right. 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 Okay. Yeah. That was kind of that was kind of weird. But do, I think it set I, it up. It yeah. Had to I was gonna say that was. I'm sure that that's probably gonna be and that now I can finally. You know, mention that because I, I forgot last week. I was saying that like Jesse Custer is fucking nuts. Like, as awesome as that character is, and like as as much as I love him, sometimes he's not always justified in a lot of the shit that he does. But you know, he's a man of the cloth, so like he repents for his for his sins. But like. He is straight up nuts, and I I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but, like, some things that he sees and does and the actions that he carries out aren't always Jesse. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, all right, yeah, we'll and, leave it at that. And that, what they're setting up with that, I think, is it's definitely going to come into play, you know. Okay. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a really good show so far. If season, if episode three 
is as good or even better as one and two, and I'm completely on board. I was gonna say if we start getting a little bit more answers next week, like especially with the the two guys that that, that they cool. that Kaz fought in the church, because they just pop right back up again. Yeah. Oh well. If yeah. They're who I think they are. It's gonna be fucking nuts to see how this shit goes down. You want towel? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm excited. One or two. No. no. <laughs> I'm excited for next week. I'm like, okay. So from week one to week two, I was apprehensive and I knew I was going to watch next week, this week's episode. But this week into next week, I'm excited and I can't wait for next week's episode. But it's more so off the merits of the show as a whole and mm-hmm. not you know, my one real gripe with the show. Okay. All right, so moving on to the creme de la... How do you say Creme de la... Creme? It's the same. Creme creme de la creme? Creme de la creme fresh. Okay. (laughs) All right. um, Game of Freaking Thrones. This was a pretty good episode. The Hound. Yeah, The Hound, baby. He's back, baby. I know he wasn't. I knew he wasn't dead. Of course I not. I knew he wasn't dead. Confirmation on Clegane Bowl 2K16. <laughs> because because when he was sitting there and he was like, kill me. And yeah, he, was breathing, he was breathing. I'm like, this motherfucker ain't dead. He's fucking hard to kill. He is, man. Dude, how awesome was Ian McShane in this episode? Why do you... Well, it's, I'm sorry, I know we said spoilers in the beginning, but I'm just going to double spoil it. Yeah. You know, double just spoil to cover myself at you know, any little bitches out there. Uh, yeah. He didn't need to die. No. But he did. <laughs> he did. He definitely didn't need to die, but, like, I totally understand why, you know, I still have the same kind of issue, This, like I said, that I have o- overall with this season, and that, like... I can, I can clearly see the wheels turning, but you know I'm I'm trying to keep that in the back of my mind. You know I'm really excited for you know the return of the of the hound because you know obviously it's gonna they're they're gonna it's gonna be the hound versus the mountain and that's gonna be one hell oh of a fucking fight. Oh my god! Fight. It's gonna be one hell of a fucking fight. My god. But like, what if the hound and him like joined forces? Like I know that wouldn't happen. I'm just saying. Like, what if they? Jo- <laughs> there would be no, there would be no fun. return of the hound and fucking Franken Mountain going to get. There's no stopping. There's them. no stopping them. <laughs> oh there my god. There would be a fire fight. Oh god. But um, Jon Snow's getting his crew together. Yeah, he got sixty-two fighters. Yeah. That little girl. What Holy the, shit, that little girl was awesome. What did the little girl's... Uh, what was her name again? I forgot. Uh, Liana, Liana Mormont. Yeah, remember when she was like, there's only 62 of us. Not a lot, but we're proud. Yeah. I'm like, that doesn't... <laughs> that, that, that's not enough. <laughs> She's like, well, each one of my men is worth 10 regular fighters. <laughs> Bullshit. No, but like, I, I'm... That little girl fucking stole that scene. Mm-hmm. She was... She had me feel like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy shit. That, like, that little girl had way more of an intimidating presence than, like, some of, like, the badasses on this show. Like, she, like, she stood, I could, you know what I would, I, it just dream, you know, dream scenario here. If Tywin wasn't dead, I would love to see him and this little girl go at it. Like, just, like, you know, arguing and shit. Because they're both so fucking proud. But Dude. what else? What else can we say about Game of Thrones? Like it's it's just it's it's a fucking great show it, based off it's, a great it's getting, book. Yeah, it's getting shit's going down. That's all I got to say. I mean, that's basically all, all I have to say about it. The Hound is back. Uh, that's pretty, um, what I'm else? really interested to see what's going on with uh, with Arya. Because oh yeah, when she got stabbed, I went, "Oh no, no." Yeah, for a second I was like, "No, no, no, no. No. No, no, no. Don't do it." But also at the same time I was like, "You dumb bitch. How did you not know this was going to happen?" Like, I'm sure she anticipated it, but it was just like out in the open and then the lady just came up, "Sweet girl, stab, 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 stab." I'm like, yeah, right. "The fuck? What have you been training for this whole time?" Yeah, but she She didn't even like 
like, I get that she caught her off guard, but, like, didn't even put up a fight. Just like, oh, shit, I've been stabbed. Time to well, roll. Well, yeah, she got almost gutted. I know, but I'm saying, like... A girl has no belly. <laughs> a girl also has no fucking spidey senses, either. Yeah, it's true. But, yeah, you know, uh, I'm glad she's not dead. Yeah. Because I would have been, like, I, I just... It would have been a waste. Yeah. That whole thing would have been a waste. Mm-hmm. 